What is up guys? Start back again, also known as the Black Showman. And today I'm bringing you the last, I believe it's the last of Wave 1, uh, Transformers the movie, Studio Series, Grimlock, and Wheelie. Although Wheelie is definitely an afterthought. But more on that later. Here's the front of the box. And as you can see, get this nice picture of Grimlock and Wheelie. Inside of the box you get this nice little cutout of the... I believe it's the judge area where they kick, kick in the front door, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll get a better look at it later. Anyway, inside the box, back of the box. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. As for accessories, you get your usual, you know, you get your uh, instruction booklet, which to a degree you kind of don't need. This guy goes by the very traditional Grimlock transformation guide. <laughs> you know, you fold the legs behind uh, the back. Put the folded hands in and you pull the chest down, you know, just standing grim muscle. But uh, yeah, there you go, there's instructions. Very easy to follow if you need them, but you just might not need them. Now, as for accessories, you know what? I'm gonna bring the whole figure in because I actually had the accessories attached to them, so yeah, let's go a little unorthodox with this one. Here he is. As you can see, this is his gun. Let's go ahead and pull out his hand. And, and there we go. We'll slide him to the side. As far as the gun goes, it's all one solid piece. No real hollowness to speak of at all. And it's very G1, two, it's two barrel blaster. Looks pretty good if I, if I say so myself. Uh, got these little tabs in, um, in the barrel here. Let's move the camera down. I'm curious if you can take a, a blast effect and attach it. Let's try. Really quick. Let's see if it works. And I think it does. Oh yeah, it works. So yeah, you can blast effect it. Very nice. All right. As for his other accessory, I'm gonna put the gun over here. Pull the camera back up. Is Willie, which I have paid into his shoulder. Ah, boy, Willie. Let's let's talk about this. Let me let me untab him off. In my opinion, uh. This could have been something, but instead they didn't give him uh, they didn't give him knees because they figured Willie wasn't worthy of knees. So for me, Willie is going to go in a drawer. But he's painted well enough. I think here he has a. Uh, I think this is all paint right here on black plastic. It looks pretty good, like a nice pink. Uh, not pink, but kind of a peach color. A little bit of orange, gray plastic. There's no paint there, but the paint reply looks pretty good. Even the face scope is pretty good, and his uh, slingshot does come out. That's a nice touch. Arms are on a ball on a ball joint. It's on a ball joint, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can't change anything about it other than moving the arms and the legs around. But yet again, if he had knees, it'd have been so much better. So because of that, he's going in the box. So goodbye, Willie. Goodbye. And uh, yeah, here he is. Uh, he's massive. This is by far the largest studio series figure we have gotten so far. And like I said before, I believe this is the, in fact the end of wave one, if I'm not mistaken. And if it is, <clears throat> I should plan on doing a uh, Studio Series Wave One retrospective because this is the first time I've ever actually bought all of a wave of a mainline set. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be doing that. But as for Grimlock goes, man, he he looks the part. He is very, very G1 movie accurate, even right down to the blue visor. Because normally I prefer him to have a red visor. But I think I remember in the movie he had a blue visor, so that's that's accurate. Face sculpt looks accurate. Uh, clean is all get out, like even the side here, the back. The T Rex head is actually a smaller size. I think it'd be bigger, but I think this is accurate. And it, it again, this makes for very clean bot mode. Also, if I say so myself. Uh, as terms of uh, paint, uh, the chest is painted a nice gold. They put this. Uh, piece of tan plastic over the Autobot symbol. I'm not exactly a fan of it because in the in the G1 movie, this right uh -huh. here doesn't even really exist. It's like a cutout for it, but you don't see it. And I remember the original toy had this, but uh, I thought this is more of a toy thing, and I thought like they could have left this out all together. In matter of fact, I've, I kind of like putting an Autobot symbol actually right there on top of this. I could be wrong, but I would prefer that. As far as other paint goes, uh, the dinosaur feet here have been painted a nice gold color. You have red, 
not red, excuse me, red. <laughs> blue, red, and green. This is all paint here. Black hand on toe. Uh, where else is paint? The vi except for the vi I believe the visor. Go up again. I believe the visor's painted. If I'm not mistaken. I may be wrong. But it looks like it's paint. It's like a pearlescent paint. And it looks very good. As for the Dinobot mode, no, no, the T-Rex mode goes, there's probably more paint there, but when I get transformed, we'll talk about that. As far as our holding his weapon goes, like I've seen before, he can't hold his weapon in either hand. I prefer this weapon. I mean, I prefer his hand. Uh, also, molded, molded detail. Even here down to the legs, like the rivets, the vents, all looks really good and purposeful. No hollow bits, like even between the legs looks really good. You can tell that this was a <clears throat> this was like a, this was like a top tier character for them to get right, and by God they did it. They put in really good work with this figure. Um, if to put in my two cents, I wish they had uh just totally kept Willie out of the equation and gave him a sword. That'd been so much better. In fact, I have a sword from uh, my Perfect Effects uh, Dino Combiner set. Let's see if you can hold this. It's supposed to be big by Jupiter, see if it looks sliding. And no, he can't hold it right, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, let's move on to his articulation. In terms of articulation, go to the head. The head, the head appears to be on, let's see, like a mushroom peg inside the head. And it gives him a full 360, which is good. The arms soft, ratchet out that far. Uh... Another soft ratchet. If you move your uh, Dino uh, T-Rex uh, pieces out of the way, he can get a full 360 out of that. Bicep swivel, tight but full 360, and he can bend the elbow that far, which is uh, pretty good. Hands do get a full 360. Sadly, they don't open like Prime, which kind of sucks. And I, I kind of lied. There's a there's some hollow bit right here. And I, they could put a cover over that. If they had, they'd probably been damn near perfect. But you know, Hasbro can't make anything just, you know, perfect. But when again, what it is. Uh, when you bend your elbow here, this leaves this leaves like a little bit of a gappage. Wait a minute. Oops. Right under here. But I don't think that bothers anybody. But it locks into place for T-Rex mode, which I'll show you guys when we get, when we get there. Uh, arm articulation, same on the other side. Also, we're showing on the back here with a grim, with a kind of grim mark, with his T-Rex uh, wings here in the back. They do kind of move anywhere, anywhere, every which way, and you can't hinge them up higher. It's kind of cool. So that's a good thing to point out for articulation. As far as waist goes, get the camera right there. You can spin a full 360 with little no problem. Which is really really good. As far as the legs go, the kick out that far, knee bend, about that much. Kick back <clears throat> that far, and you could bend your knee all the way up, but you definitely gonna hit your your uh, kibble on the back. But you know what? That's more than enough you need, I think, in my opinion. Uh, you move the leg out this far. You can get the full Van Dam or what, or what I call full trial. <laughs> Showing everything Primus gave him, or I should say everything Wheeljack gave him, because Wheeljack built him. And coming down to feet, you did get a wow, okay, a very good ankle tilt. Like, like above the call of duty on that. That's ridiculous. So he got so he's got all the room he needs for for his articulation purposes. There should be no one out here saying that this guy can't move because brother he can move let's get him back his gun for a minute i want to get some uh size comparisons let's put him kind of back here because uh i kind of apologize for my camera work here <clears throat> it's a little bit uh up closer more than i like it but it's kind of a big figure so I have some issues let's move the camera back a taste get some size comparisons uh first and first let's put in prime See how that looks. I think that's um, that's about accurate. I always view Prime, I always view Grimlock much bigger than Prime, and I think that looks pretty good. I'm not mad at all. Let's bring in Hot Rod. 
I think Crimson Raptors, good buddy of mine. Yeah, I asked him uh, what would he like to see. I think he said Hot Rod. So here's Hot Rod from Studio Series. And uh, <laughs> wow, this wow, God, Grandma is huge. And one more. This is yet again the Crimson Raptor request. You want to see MMC's Kultor, which is their uh, IW Tarn. See how they look together. Let's see. All right, put Prime back in. I think that's not bad. Um, in the comic books, I think him and Tarn are about the same height, so that's not bad. I I, I like that pretty good. Tarn comes off a little bit taller because of his uh, tread shoulders, but uh, yeah, it looks yeah, ain't mad. Looks pretty good. All right, to begin transformation, first thing you want to do is go ahead and put your arms all the way up and make sure that your elbow is completely close and fold your hands in. No, this is because this is about what every grandma does. Do the same on the side. Make sure this is locked closed and move your hand inside. And there, you're basically doing Grimlock's feet for the most part. All right, now. Let's see the next step. You're gonna come back here to the feet. You're gonna pull this piece down and fold it all the way up like so. And then you're gonna uh, open up the back of your leg right here. Just fold that all the way out. There you go. Now go ahead and do the other side. Fold this piece down and open this back part up like so. All right, now. Gonna go ahead and bring your legs together because there's gonna be a peg right here and a hole right there. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and sandwich them together. Matter of fact, no, take it back. Take it back. Let's go ahead and bend the knee. Let's go ahead and lower this down first. There we go. Lower that first. Also, I have to show a defect in my mind. When you fold your legs up, um, this little heat, this little piece here on the knee, cat, uh, is caught by these two clips. Uh, on my other side of my leg, the two clips are loose, and it's a soft plastic in here. Matter of fact, yeah, it's soft inside too. It doesn't quite uh, hold this the way it should, but luckily, when you collapse the back of the leg onto it, it, it holds okay, but it's worth showing. Alright, now, <laughs> defect aside, let's go back to this, uh, go ahead and squeeze this together. Let's see, like so. There we go. I think it's pretty good. And you're going to want to untab your head, get it out of the way. And you're going to want to fold this all the way up to these two clips here, and go in these two little notches here. Let's see, oops. You're just going to fold, oh, hold on now. There we go. And you're going to fold it all the way up to here. If I'm getting it right. Let's see. There we go. And it should be something like that. Now come back to the front. You're going to fold these pieces of your tail down. Like so. Do the same other side. There you go. Now, you're going to want to close one side up. Like so. And do the same on the other side. And it's kind of pushing them together. Because there's tabs throughout here too. And all went according to plan. You got something like this. All right, come back to the front of the chest right here, and just pull. And you're gonna want to slide all this down here and push in. It'll lock into place. There we go. All right. Hopefully you're still with me. <laughs> you're gonna take your head and you're gonna fold it inside like so. Raise up your chest uh, plate slash wing, fold it in, and lower it over over the chest. Do the same to the other side, and it's going to tab together. Let's see here. Hmm. There we go. All right, now for the piece of resistance, pull the camera up. You're just gonna. Fold your head in, like so, and bam, you got yourself a Grimlock. I'm going to stand him up, clean him up, and we'll talk about him. And here he is, Grimlock himself, in Dollarbot mode. And uh, 
awesome. <laughs> it says transformation is very simplistic. It's just, it constantly, I think like Grimlock, it's, it's transformation can only go one way no matter which version you have. You know, the tail must be made from the legs. The chest is made from the wing pieces on the back. You know, so it's all the same thing. But I forgot to show you one part. Um, for added, for added possibility in his legs, you gotta go back here and see. I get it right. There we go. Untab this from here, and it gives you a little bit of added uh, dinosaur uh, articulation. So yeah, you kind of want to do that, <clears throat> especially if you want to get him in that kind of more classic uh, standing up pose. And I know I gotta fix my camera here. Damn it. There we go. And for the most part, he kind of, uh, sometimes mine wants to lean back, but it's kind of okay because he'll always kind of have his, uh, let me use up a little bit, have his tail to kind of balance himself. Let's see, as you can see, because my, my surface isn't exactly flat, so it's not very forgiving. On his, on his poor little feet, see if I let go, he'll lean back. But it might be different on different servers. I can't, I can't, t I can't tell you. It's on my server. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop these back in. There we go. And stand them up this way. While we talk about them, makes it a little easier on me. Okay. <clears throat> in terms of extra paint, which I didn't speak on before, he has red paint here. Autobot symbol, which also looks kind of like a sticker, but it's paint on. And he has blue eyes, which is kind of, which which matches which matches his uh his visor. And you know, tell, the paint here on the back is just, just all the same leg paint he had before. So uh yeah, for the most part, uh this thing looks looks the it looks the part of it. God, the camera goes up in. There we go. It looks the part of the how you, how you should look. As far as articulation goes, <clears throat> you get full six three full three sixty out of the dinosaur head, mouth opens. About that wide, which is wide enough. Head by way can look up that far and down that far. Uh, coming down to the arms, they got a very tight ball joint and a hinge here. You can bend out all the way down like so. Uh, no hand bend actually, but you can rotate these arms out about that far. So they are very tight, but these legs kind of get in the way of that. So yeah, I think that's more than enough you need though. It's kind of sad the hand couldn't move the way you want to. As far as the legs go, they're just his arms. So yeah, you should be able to get a full get these out of the way. <laughs> should be able to get a full 360. Yep, and they could go out that far. So even in Dinobot mode or T-Rex mode, he can do the full trial. <laughs> All good stuff. Uh, on mine, I might have to take a screwdriver and tighten it. My toe right here is a uh, Pretty loose, but look, there's a screw right here, so that's kind of good. I might tighten it up later. Other side, it fares a little bit better. The back can articulate as well. And yeah, you can use the bicep for the arm, for the leg, and you can spin the full 360. So that's pretty good. Overall, this is a damn good Grimlock, man. Seriously. Uh, now, as far as weapon storage goes, you can take your gun here and see using the pegs that are sometimes I have to sometimes I have to find them. <laughs> the pegs right here, right there, and right there. You can put them into the holes on the back, right here and right here. If you want to do that, let's see if I can get it on camera. Kinda hard to see. Hmm. Crap, there we go. All right, so yeah, you kind of stack the gun on the back like so. Eh, it's all right, not for me. <laughs> and you bring back Willie, which no one ever says that. Bring back Willie. <laughs> you can totally sit him on the neck area and create the little pose where he's firing his slingshot. Uh, let's see if I, can, I can't get it balanced. Tell you what, let's let's stand him all the way up and try it. I'm not gonna waste a lot of time on Willie. Trust me. So not worth it. But let's see here. Bend the head. Now let's try it. Ah, this is, there he is. There we go. Okay, so yeah, you can totally have him firing his slingshot at Shop the Cons or whoever else you want to do it at. But for my taste, 
You can get the hell out of here. I don't care. <laughs> uh, move the gun out of the way. For a size comparison for Dynabot mode. Oh, before I do that, I have to point this out with the camera again, swear to God. Um, uh, sadly, the tail does not move. It's just one solid piece. This is this is just it. So yeah, it don't move. It doesn't move, which can be sad depending on how, depending on who you are. I'm okay with it though. All right, for size comparison, I got him standing high, hind ways up. I've always wanted to do this. Here is uh, Beast Wars Megatron. I've, I I just always wanted to compare them. And now I can. Let's see. So if you stand them both up, this is Grimlock at full, at full standing. Let's see. Let's take Megatron and stand him all the way up. If I can. Let's see here. Okay. Oops. All right, that's Megatron. So when they're both fully standing, Megatron is a hair taller. Not by much. And the one cool thing is, it looks like Grimlock actually maybe once had skin, kind of like IDW, and it got burnt off. You know, so like, this is the skin, it gets burned off, it becomes this. It's kind of cool. But yeah, I just always wanted to compare it to. All right, for the other comparison, here is Optimus Prime. Kind of see how that looks. I think it's probably about right. And uh, move Prime out of the way. Here is a young hot rod. See how that looks. So, matter of fact, let's bring them both back in here. It's for a sense of scale. That looks alright. Oh, yeah. And on a fun note, you can peg uh, Energy Blast into his mouth. I just discovered that actually. Um, right here, you pull it out. There's actually a little peg inside the mouth here. It's like you can barely even see it. Oh, let me see the camera. There you go. It's a little black peg right there. You can barely see it. But yeah, you can peg all kind of energy effects in there. In fact, yeah, here's a little green one I have. I think it's a little more like spitting acid or something. But yeah, you can totally do that. So yeah, that's, that's totally just uh, worth showing. All right, now time for final thought. Uh, if this is indeed the last of the first wave, because Grimlock's number six, um, this is a good way for the wave to go out. Uh, wave one has been awesome. Uh, just, just pure fun. Uh, Grimlock is himself. Uh, he lacks, like I say, he, he lacks a little bit of, um, I don't know, I feel like a little bit of finesse in his transformation. But then again, I feel like Grimlock I ha always has. I feel like he can't evolve in transformation. I'm not making it a bad thing. It's actually kind of good because sometimes I get tired of complex transformations. I mess with a lot of third party figures and sometimes uh, the complexity of things just like ridiculous why be that complex so it is kind of good to see it's kind of good to have a nice fun transformation almost kind of a king to MMC so thank you Hasbro the paint that is applied to this guy is very accurate I think it looks good uh, somebody someone else may want more paint apps or whatever but since it's more of a G1 aesthetic I think less is more you know more simplicity even the whole backside here uh, I think everything looks, looks, looks really good on him. He's a he's a high recommend for me. I hope we, we get other diamond bots. Uh, I know everybody, everybody says they want all five of them, but to be fair, in the movie we didn't really get all five. <laughs> I think it was uh, was it Snarl that left out. So yeah, I mean, you know, if you can at least give us the other three, I'd be happy. I'd have to get five, but you know, I'll take four just because the movie. But yeah, this, this guy this guy's awesome. He's a good he's a good figure, fun figure. And, you know, I mean, for the money, shit, definitely worth having. I like them. I like them a lot. But, uh, yeah, before I get out of here, let me rip, let me rip my people as I always do. So I want you to check out my fellow Jitticons. That's Kayla's Collection, Inotabi, and Larkin's Lair. I have a down, down a link below as normal. Check them out. If you're not, you're missing out. Just trust me. Do it. Good time there. Also, check out 3 Live Stream. Which includes which includes pack and entry reviews. I have a link for both entry reviews and pack or three live stream <laughs> uh, down here below as as, uh, as well. Um, if you come to that channel, please come with your big boy pants on because although all we talk about is toys for the most part, uh, we don't really uh, censor our language there. So uh, yeah, if you don't if foul language doesn't bother you, you're gonna have a good time. 
Seriously, believe me. Don't bring your kids. You've been warned. Yeah, also for my own shameless plug. Uh, thank you everyone for checking out my channel. Thank you everybody for watching, sharing, subscribing. It means the world to me. It really does. Man, I just it it, 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 feels, it feels really good when you guys watch and give me back feed, give me feedback. Whether it's positive or negative, I don't care. Just you know what, I'm 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 not above negative feedback, you know. But at least make it constructive. I, I I ask that much. Yeah, I appreciate all you guys. So before I got here, thank you guys so much. And this has been Star Moose, but also known as a Black Woman. I here doing God's work, reviewing these figures. Until next time, peace out.